Dixie, double fall time You feel alright when you hear the new tape ring Well now you step inside In other places But the horns They blow in that sound Way on down south Way on down south London town Guitar George, he knows all the chords. Mighty strictly rhythm, he doesn't wanna make it cry or sing. If standing no guitar is all he can afford, when he gets up under the lights to play his thing. Hi, everybody. Uh, big congrats here to Mike Way on being inducted into the Ontario Squash Hall of Fame. Uh, really, really well deserved. This is a big deal. It's nice to see Mike get this recognition. Um, you know, when I when I'm coaching my kids or, or other players, I, I often go back to the gems that Mike drilled into our heads over the years. You know, he would he would often say, "Graham, longer rallies make for shorter matches," or "I'd really like to see 80% pace but 100% ball control, and not the other way around." Um, and he would often remind us, you know, when you're going short, mate. Don't think winner. Expect that ball to come back. And take some pressure off your short game. Uh, you know, I think Mike has been so successful just given he really has a, he's got a great combination of intelligence. He's always well prepared. He's a real student of the game. Um, he's truly passionate for the game and, and he's been extremely generous with his time over the years. So uh, big congrats to Mike. Really happy to see him get this recognition. Uh, and thank you, Mike, for everything you've taught us over the years, both on and off the court. Thanks, everyone. Hey, Mike. Congratulations on your Hall of Fame induction. Nobody deserves it more. I got the word from Graham that you were going in, and uh, I couldn't wait to do this little video to congratulate you one more time. You know we miss you, and uh, so proud of all the things that you've done. Keep up the great work, buddy. Okay. You deserve it. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, Mike Way here. Uh, sorry I can't be with you tonight. Uh, as you can see, I've got my Forrest Gump outfit on. Don't ask. <clears throat> and the only thing I can say is it did not involve alcohol. Um, first off, I want to thank Matt Easingwood for nominating me. Matt, what were you thinking and how many beers did you consume before you pressed submit? Um, and I want to thank Squash Ontario and the board for such an honor. I had quite the journey um, in our sport in Canada. Um, I came over in 81 at the Ontario Racquet Club, then moved to the Valhalla, then downtown to the Toronto Athletic Club, which was formerly, of course, the Squash Academy, and then on to the Toronto Racquet Club, and then into semi-retirement in Oakville. I have too many people to thank, <coughs> um, but there is... Uh, a few shout outs uh, I definitely got to make. <clears throat> First off to Bunny Abbott. Um, Daryl Abbott uh, passed away a couple of years ago, but Daryl and Bunny brought me over from England. Thank you. 
Um, I then moved to the Valhalla and worked under Murray Christensen. Uh, definitely the best years a young coach could have. Uh, Murray, what, what days they were, what times. <clears throat> Just a brilliant time, brilliant club. Um, Murray realized that if you actually built a, a pub and you put squash courts behind it, you had one of the best blueprints for a sports business model ever. Well done, Murray. Um, I want to thank Ted Clark for um, hiring me and then supporting me throughout the Toronto Racquet Club. I want to thank Mike Manley for helping us start our little national training center and then carrying the ball throughout. Mike, big thank you to you. Uh, I want to thank the players um, during that time. Uh, Melanie, Marnie, Margot, Tara, the three amigos, Graham, Jonathan and Shahir, and Victor and Kelly, you guys uh, were the backbone uh, of the program. Big shout out to Bob Bowers. Bob, absolutely couldn't have done, uh, done it without you. Um, and last, with regards to the National Training Center, my eternal gratitude to Lolly Gillen. Um, I have such um, admiration for you, and I got such a debt of gratitude, as I'm sure many others do uh, across Canada. So, Lolly, thank you very much. I also want to give a quick shout out to Dave Forgeron, Rob Brooks, and all those great coaches that, unbeknownst to them, were not just good friends, but also mentors of mine. So thank you for that. <clears throat> when I think of Squash Ontario, uh, my memories are about those little colored posters that Sherry would send down, we put on the notice board. It's about the Toronto and District League and just the passion and enthusiasm that went into that league and the local tournaments. And of course, last, but my, by no means me, least, all those members of all those clubs um, loving the game as we all do, as we did and as we still do, uh, and what special times they were. So um, I'm eternally grateful for that time here, and I think we all are grateful um, in some ways to Squash Ontario and to those, uh, those great events and great league nights that we had. So. I will raise a glass uh, to all of you in a few hours' time later tonight. Thank you, thank you. Be well.